What's up guys, welcome to Ben Isel Guy here and what I have for you today is another app called TeamViewer. Now what is TeamViewer? Well TeamViewer is an application where you can use your iOS device to control your computer and this is compatible with PC or Mac. Now there are three different versions of this. Alright so the first one we have is the free version which is TeamViewer for remote control and the second one is also free but that's for meetings so that's more like for business people and we also have a paid version and that's t that's for the remote control users and it's actually a hundred bucks so let's take a look at the user interface of this application so uh, what you have here is your connect tab which is basically the, the information you need to type in in order to connect with your computer and your reasons tab which is to show you all the recent computers that you've connected to um, partner list and files where you can remotely transfer files back and forth to each other and then your options tab uh, you have version info quality remove wallpaper that's basically if you want the uh, wallpaper to go uh, like completely blank once you open up the application um, show status bar remote cursor enable UDP um, save recent passwords read out clipboard on start app tutorial instructions show instructions um, logging, connection logging, show log file, and show connection log. Now to get this application running, you must first type in the TeamViewer ID and your password that will be provided for you uh, from the uh, program that you downloaded on your computer, which there will be a link in the description below. Alright, so as you can see, we are looking at my desktop on the iPhone, and you can rotate it to landscape to view it in landscape mode. Um, so you have your X button, which is to end the connection with your uh, devices. Um, you have a keyboard uh, button right here, which is th has the escape key, arrows, control, alt, windows. And, and then this is to get more uh, buttons on your keyboard, such as the arrow keys, and then the F buttons, N, pause, whatever. And then you have the eject button to close the keyboard. As you can see, I'm using my finger to drag the cursor. Now, you don't have to drag on top of the cursor, but you can if you like. But anywhere is fine. And where the cursor is, you can tap to open in the programs. Um, this button is for right click. Okay. And to zoom in, zoom out. And then remote reboot or disable remote input. And here's your settings. You have connection info, screen resolution, version info, quality, remove wallpaper, which I had it turned off, remote cursor, save recent passwords, um, read out clipboard on start, instructions, show instructions. Uh, these were basically the same settings that we saw earlier. Okay, so let's actually see how this application performs. So we're going to go to the Windows menu. Actually, no, we're going to go on to Safari. Okay, double tap. Now, it is a little bit laggy. Um, it might not be as laggy as the newer devices, such as the iPhone 4S. Um, this is actually the iPhone 3G model, the second generation uh, of the iPhone. Because I do not own the iPhone 4S. Okay, so we're going to go on to google.com alright so we have our keyboard okay you check the keyboard to close that out now Google is loaded on the computer as well as on the iPhone but you can also pinch to zoom Okay, so what's my review of this application? Well, on a 1 to 5 scale, I give it a 4. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is useful on the newer devices, but uh, there there are some lacks and it's not perfect, and sometimes uh, it would just lose connection between the devices. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, and 
Leave a comment down below whether you have this application or not, whether you like it, uh, hate it, uh, and make sure you uh, hit the like button if you like this video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.